nice. Oh, look at that to the left. Yeah. You see that? This might be a good place. Yeah, we got a good. nice long linear feature. This is uh, like our friend. Uh, Bridge now. Um, see them work to stop. Friends in Nashville asked. So this one uh, will is kind of nice because it goes on for a while. So we want a sample here. Yeah. So if you look at towards the top of the screen where we see those big black blowouts, yep. that's where we want to go. Okay. Stop the show. Actually, no. Why would be it be long time like that? Flush. This, to me, is a sign of seepage because when you see a linear feature like this, uh, it, it definitely is, is consistent with the idea that methane-rich <laughs> fluids are seeping from below along a fault or along a crack or any other feature that would be the path of least resistance for the fluid, right? Hmm. So, yeah. so a couple of our viewers are seeing, saying they're seeing some shimmering. If indeed that's the case, that's because uh, water is coming out that has a different density than the surrounding seawater. It's called the Schlieren effect. I'm really curious about this shimmering. Maybe before we sit down, Will, let's uh, zoom in uh, if we can and get a sense of where our viewers are seeing the shimmering. Cause okay, I'd why don't you go right in, Al. Viewers, if you're watching, is the shimmering on this black spot? Is that where you guys are seeing it? Alex, is the ship backing up? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, you may want to uh, make your delta a little higher. Does it look like it right there? Stay away from yeah, each other. Bubbles. No. Yep. Wait. Yeah, I see bubbles. No. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Craig Nicholson um, is asking, any chance you guys can tell us what the orientation of this linear trend is? is oh, sure. Let me yeah. just uh, line up with Good that. question. Looks like it's north-south-ish. Yeah. Uh, no, it's actually going to be uh, a little more northeast-southwest. No, I think what I thought I saw is not there. Northeast-southwest. If you were to rotate counterclockwise 90 degrees, could you set up with the porch um, sort of facing this linear feature so we can uh, pan from port to starboard and then do some sampling? Is that the best way to do that? What do you think? Sure. All right, let's uh, zoom in and see what we got. Oh, boy, I got something to do. How far that, do you want to go? That's as far left as I can. Um, uh, that's, that is a great zoom, and if we could tilt down a tiny bit. Uh, so, Lisa, can you see the little, um, I can't tell if that's an amphipod, <laughs> it looks, but I'm not sure what it is. There's a little, there's a little uh, crab or something. A yeah, that's exactly monster. what I'm wondering about. It does look like, um, but it, I don't. Oh, I think it's a little oh, shrimp. There's him. another one right there. It might there. be a oh, shrimp. Oh, yeah. Well, no, I think those are different. Yeah, those oh, really? look I different. think they're different. Yeah. Okay, let's see here. So this is neat. So we, we have our, our little gastropod friends here, and we've seen um, some shrimp and uh, whatever that little red thing is. I do not yet know. It just doesn't look like a, 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 cr a crab to me. Sam from Los Angeles. How does the general warming of the oceans affect the seafloor? It's a good question. Now, if this Sam from Los Angeles um, is a random Sam from Los Angeles, I'll tell you that the general warming of the oceans affects the seafloor. Um, it does. It depends on the depth of the seafloor. The deeper we go, the less influential uh, the general warming seems to be. Now, that said, off the coast of Hawaii, there's a very deep cabled observatory site where they're starting to see changes in pH already uh, that are probably tied to ocean acidification that's resulting from the carbon dioxide in our atmosphere. Wow. All right. Well, Lisa, um, I believe this is about the, the best we can do in terms of um, the uh, imaging. I do think, Lisa, that these are Alia uh, permadesta. Um, that's, these are, they look uh, very similar to the ones that, that we have seen over the last couple of days elsewhere in the basin. So they seem to be abundant and happy. Um, there are definitely other critters in here, and I think the best thing we can do is get a good suction <coughs> sample. Um, and we'll be able to better identify who's here. Um, Megan, what's the oxygen? Our oxygen currently is about 5.06 micromoles per liter. Excellent. 